What a match that was to watch, especially as the second half got longer. Paul Burmeister, Robbie Earl, Robbie <coughs> Musto. Uh, Robbie Musto, we have <laughs> VAR involvement. We have valiant effort from the Blades. We have missed opportunity from Aston Villa. Oh. What, what's on your mind first? What's on my mind is what a brilliant game it was. Yeah. What a brilliant game it was and what a performance from Sheffield United. Yeah, they're, they're, I'm sure some of them would be devastated. They don't get all three points. They could do with it being at the bottom of the league table. Their performance, and I, and I did the lineups, Paul, and I kind of hinted, hmm, he's left three or four starting players, important players on the bench. Is he just going here thinking about Boxing Day? Well, that's, that's not a performance of that theory. So I was wrong with that. That was some performance, young legs, young energy. We did a tactical shape at halftime, brilliant tactical setup from Sheffield United, 5 4 1. And with Villa going all out, all out for the, to try and score the winning goal, there's always a chance defensive focus drops a little bit when you're trying all out to score. They conceded the goal and then came back late at the end. I mean, we'll go through all it in, in the highlight, but what a brilliant game of football it was. And it's the thing game. is, it's. Um... It's the Premier League. A team could go top, a team at the bottom, but it's a Premier League at the f in the festive fixtures, which adds another sort of element where you're going to see, you see crazy results at this time of the season. And it's one of those days where I was thinking both dressing rooms will be a bit disappointed, but both dressing rooms will be quite pleased. I think Sheffield United will be pleased with the way they've played, that they've come to Aston Villa and got a point. Villa obviously will be disappointed if not managed to keep that winning run going. But 1-0 down with minutes on the, on the clock to get a draw and get a point is a, an important point for, for, for Aston Villa. So, it's, as I say, it's one of them days when it's, it's a bit of a strange one to understand yeah. what each coach and each team will feel. But in the end, um, you'd have to say Sheffield United's tactical setup in their spirit and in their determination was worthy of a, a point for them. What's today. interesting to me is that this is where Aston Villa are right now, where they are in the league and why everybody's talking about them. They're trying to go top of the Premier League. It changes the opponent's approach. It changes their attitude to, to going to Villa Park now, being so strong. If Villa are kind of mid-table, that's a totally different game of football. But because they are where they are, Teams are going to start to do a different tactical setup, be defensively strong against them to stop Villa's attack. And they did it almost throughout the game. Late goal equaliser. But that's what Villa got to get used to now, Paul. Teams to come and will make it very hard for them to try and score. And that's what you get in your last two home matches. You beat Man City. <laughs> you beat Arsenal. People are going to bring their absolute best in the team that was yeah. in last place. They find a way to come to Villa Park and get one point. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.